are news you can use. We talked about this particular topic on Tuesday's call. And this was an article that came out Tuesday from CNBC. And we are at an all time high with dissatisfaction by homeowners. So in other words, uh, the prior year of the prior year's purchasers of brand new homes or first time home buyer homes, not necessarily new homes, but people who bought a home for the first time, 70, in a survey, 77% uh, said they were dissatisfied with becoming homeowners. The primary reason was unexpected repair costs in the first year of ownership. Now, these are folks uh, that primarily came from rental properties and, and primarily the biggest demographic in this group of uh, folks surveyed were uh, millennials. So my oldest son is a millennial. So I, I know a little bit about how this thing works and how these guys think. They're, they're used to of spending their whole lives in a rental property. They go out and they bought a home and the next thing you know, there's something goes wrong with it. And they're like, well, who do we call to get this fixed? Well, son, you <laughs> that's what Home Depot and Lowe's are for. You go figure that out yourself. You got to get her done. So, um, but for some reason, I guess these buyers of homes had not expected that they'd have a maintenance cost factor and actually have to go do some work. Um, they were uh, literally surprised at the amount of work they had to do to maintain the home and that the repair costs. Nobody really had factored in uh, the amount of repair costs that are needed during their first year. Another factor that came into play, according to the survey, is most of these folks had been used to watching these shows on TV, uh, flip this house, flip or flop, those kinds of things. And they just assumed that all houses were of that finished grade quality work. Of course, that was not the case. Um, and, you know, as a, as a matter of fact, those of you who talk to sellers on a daily basis, uh, you guys could probably attest to, as we will always attest to, that these sellers you talk to, they think their home is in that kind of shape today. Of course, uh, first of all, that's a lie. Um, and secondly, they have no freaking idea what they're talking about. And third, they're, they're same thing as the first thing, it is lie. They, I mean, they know it's not there. Uh, but, you know, they act as if it's, uh, you know, pristine condition, perfect. That's why they want the same price as what you would see on TV. Um, you know, and this is a case where the media has really gotten to the psyche of the home buyers and has had con these new home buyers, first time home buyers, convinced that, you know, you were going to get a perfect house, even though they walked through it, they examined it, they inspected it, they had, you know, full home inspections done, that kind of thing. And um, I guess they just ignored it and figured it would go away or they could always call the, the superintendent to come fix it. But Anyway, the, the third thing that the article said is the average that they had to spend for repairs during the first year was actually under $1,000 total. But um, according to the surveyors, the, these people acted as if that was just a horrendous thing and, you know, having to make, you know, $4,000 a month house payments and then have to spend $1,000 for the whole year for repairs or less than $1,000, you know, really upset their apple cart. So, um you know, shame on us parents for not getting these millennials up to speed, uh, you know, on the real life environment out there because there is work owning homes, whether you're an investor or a, an organic uh, occupant of the home. In other words, you bought it and you live in it. So it, it does take work, but uh, just interesting kind of view, uh, scope in on how society uh, today thinks about this kind of stuff. And and frankly, $1,000 of repairs or less than $1,000 of repair in a year time, that's nothing. That is, that's minimal. It's 80, less than 80 bucks a month. I mean, you, you that's fantastic. Uh, you know, back 10 years ago, when you bought a house, you could have $50,000 repair your first two, three, four years because major systems would fall and that type of thing. Of course, today there's insurance against some of the major systems going down. And, you know, it's, they've, they've ended up patching a lot of the holes in the old system, but uh, the, the one hole that still remains is the, the difference between reality and what's in your brain. Anyway, that's it for news you can use today.